a science And he loves to play with fire And the things he'll do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home with Mr. T Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home The show that takes Well I think I'll change that this will be the show that takes items that you can usually find pretty easily and turns them into something truly extraordinary. Notice I didn't say ordinary household items because today we're going to be playing around with dry ice. And dry ice isn't just your everyday ordinary household item. Here's a small piece now. You'll notice it looks like it's smoking. Well, it's actually not smoking. It's doing something called sublimation. Sublimation is when a solid, this is frozen carbon dioxide, turns directly into a gas. You'll notice that it drops. That's really not the carbon dioxide you're seeing, that's water vapor. Because it actually, it actually um, vaporizes water that's in the atmosphere and makes it into like a cloud or fog, basically. Um, sublimation again, this is about 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. I've got a big chunk over here in a bowl, too. Um, anyways, what I was saying is, Sublimation happens when the atmospheric pressure is just right so that a frozen gas can turn directly back into a gas without having to pass into a liquid state. Unlike ice, which turns to liquid. What I'm going to do with it first is I'm going to take this bottle here that I put some of my scrape bubble solution in, and I've got some warm water here, pretty warm, and I'm going to put a little bit of that in here and spill it all over the table, of course. And then I'm going to take, I'm, I'm using a glove because dry ice can burn you if you touch it with your bare hands. You can touch it for a second, but to hold on to it, it'll actually burn your skin. I'm going to drop that in there, and let's see what happens. Maybe have another little piece. There we go. What's happening here is, because of, the, because of the bubble solution and the water in here, makes the dry ice actually turn into a gas faster, and actually makes more of the, uh, more of the um, fog actually build up inside of each of these bubbles. The bubble solution is blowing bubbles. And you can see it's bubbling right out of the bottle. It's almost like a big bubbling volcano of bubbles. It's amazing. Stir it up a little bit. Now watch, when you break these, look what happens. The water vapor is released. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Neato. And look. They're also very, very resilient bubbles. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Here, watch this. In fact, what we can do is we can grow a tower here. Oh, didn't get too high there. But anyways, there's one thing you can do with your, with your, uh, with your dry ice. And if we break these bubbles, look what happens. Isn't that cool? Very neat. Very neat. Okay. The next thing I want to show you with dry ice is I want to show you that it can actually take metal like this spoon and make it sing for you. Singing spoons. Now how does that work? Let's try the other end. There we go. Look, I don't have to touch it here. Sounds like a phone ringing. Cool, the ringing spoon. Pretty cool. We can also take a dime, push it down into the dry ice, and it should actually start to like sing. It should actually start to like do some cool stuff. Let's see if it does. Maybe not. Ow. Ow, the dime got so cold it's burning my fingers. Burn it with cold. It's like frostbite. Okay, let's move this aside and let's try something else. What I've got here is I've got ordinary baggie. We're gonna take this baggie and open it up. I'll put a little bit of warm water in there. Not much, just a little. Just like that much. Then we're gonna put a, a chunk of the dry ice in there, like this. And look at that, it starts to react. And I'm gonna zip it closed. And we're gonna just sit it here and see what happens. Try to wipe this up a little bit. Make sure it's zipped shut tight. And we're gonna see what that does. What it does is it's blowing the bag up kind of like a balloon. And you'll notice the bag's starting to get, oh wow, the bag's starting to get kind of big now. Look at that. Okay, what am I gonna do with this? Uh, let's see here. Okay. And look how big this bag's getting. It's gonna explode. That's what I wanted to show you, the exploding bag. It's pretty cool. Well, while that bag explodes, I'm leaving. I'm gonna run this in the kitchen. Oh, 
Okay. Here it looks oh, it didn't blow yet. Ow! Jeez, what timing! Thing shot right at me. Ridiculous. Okay, well, that was the exploding dry ice bag trip. Pretty cool, huh? Well, we've got a singing spoon, exploding thing, exploding baggie, and we've even done making, um, oh, this will be cool. Look at the size of that piece of dry ice. Brought a hammer with me in case I might need to break some dry ice up. What we're going to do now, though, is kind of cool. I'm going to pour some water into this dry ice here, and look at all the, look at that. Cool, huh? Kind of like that, don't you? <laughs> I do. And look at this, all the candles are going out. Why are all the candles going out? Because dry ice releases carbon dioxide gas and as it flows down over the table like you just saw, it put out all the candles. That's why I brought the candles. Pretty neat, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. Get rid of that baggie. Now, what I wanna do is, I wanna take this rag and I wanna saturate it with some bubble solution. Hopefully I can do this without making too big of a mess. There goes the phone again. Not, nah, it's the spoon getting some dry ice. Cool, huh? Okay. What I'll do is, I'll do it right over top of this. So what I'll do is I'll get the rag wet in the water, and then I'm gonna pour the bubble solution into the rag here like this, quite a bit of it. it. Didn't work, I don't think I got enough bubble solution. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna pause this right here, and I'll be back in a second so that I've got the right amount of bubble solution to do our trick. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back, and now I've brought with me some regular old dishwashing detergent and some little bit of water in this here. And I'm gonna make my own bubble solution because the bubble solution I seem to have seems to stink. I don't know where they get away with selling us this junk. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Aha, perfect. Now I've taken the dry ice out so it wouldn't keep sublimating and all disappear, but I'm putting it back in. There it goes. Now I'm gonna take this rag and I'm gonna put it over the top here and try to make a bubble. Try to make a bubble form on our big, huge thing here. Let's see if that works. There we go. We've done it. Okay. The bubble is forming. Now watch this. Let me slide it a little closer to you so you can see what's happening. As the dry ice sublimates, the bubble starts to expand bigger and bigger and bigger. Watch what's going to happen here. Getting all soapy. Oh well, we're having some good clean fun. <laughs> Bad joke, I know. Okay. Now watch this. Look how big it's getting. It's like a giant cake that's baking. It's like a cake with too much yeast. But really, our yeast... Oh, did you see that? That's what I wanted you to see. That was amazing. Let me try it again, and I'll tell you about something. I'll tell you about something that happened here. I hope, th I hope you all watched the 30 Seconds with Mr. G episodes, too. And I just want to let you know that that Lily is the dog that's in the uh, one episode, laying on the couch behind me. Well, the other animals... Yeah, I can't get it to go. That's okay. The other animals... Actually, let's put soap bubble solutions inside there with it. And let's watch the soap bubbles just pour out. Here it goes. Anyways, my other pets demand equal time. So, one of these videos coming up here, maybe not this one, you're going to see, look, it's like a bubbling cauldron. Look, and when the bubbles explode, it fires out the, the carbon dioxide. You're going to be seeing my other animals in another episode because they demand equal air time. Anyway, there you go. It's doing some pretty cool stuff now. Whoa, that's neat. Anyhow, I'm Mr. G, and I hope you find some dry ice. Look in the yellow pages for under dry ice, and you'll find a dealer. I have somebody that sells dry ice really close to my house, just a few miles away. And um, I hope you have fun with dry ice, and you can try all these different experiments, and, and you can go out with a bang, like I went in with a bang. I'm Mr. G. Do try this at home.